Well, one man is in the hospital tonight while nine families are out of their homes. Yeah, nearly three dozen lives in chaos after a massive three alarm fire tore through a row of homes in Newark. You, know, you heard Mr. G just say this is the uh, driest October on record. That was a factor here along with the wind that we saw today. Pix 11's Elias Marte live for us in Newark tonight with the latest there. Elias there. Yeah, good evening to you both. It is cold out here tonight, and it is also dark as the power has been shut off in some parts of this neighborhood. Uh, take a look behind me. These are some of the residents displaced by this fire. The priority tonight is finding a place for them to stay. A fire that originated in an abandoned home, which authorities say was being used by squatters, spread to four other nearby houses Tuesday evening. Lynch, her three-year-old daughter, and five-month-old baby boy are among the 27 adults and four children displaced. I hear someone slap my daughter, tell me, um, hey, come, come, come out. I say, who's this? After that, the another guy slapped my daughter again. He tell me, it's fire, come, come out, come out. She left everything behind, and it's afraid she won't be able to return back home, or at least anytime soon. I don't find nothing, no milk, nothing, no clothes, nothing. According to authorities, the fire started on 71 Montgomery Street in Irvington at around 4.58 this evening. Because the location is on the borderline with Newark, as the fire spread, a total of two houses in Newark and three in Irvington were consumed by the flames. People are wandering away and then they cry. It's a lot of things. Fire. They keep um, throw water, fire cannot, you know. Yeah, it's a lot of thing up here. People cry. It's twist. The Red Cross telling us they will take care of the immediate needs of these families. They just don't know how long these needs will last. Obviously, the damage was pretty hefty, so. Uh, but we'll take care of their immediate needs, yeah, with shelter, clothing, food. Officials say one elderly man was injured and taken to University Hospital. The Lynch believes she's also in need of medical assistance. Uh, after that, I'm trying to go to see a doctor because I don't feel good right now. I don't feel good. I feel dizzy and inside my um, it's bothering me a lot and I'm tired. I don't feel good for now. And the cause of this fire remains under investigation. Once again, authorities are telling us that the fire originated from a home that was abandoned and occupied by squatters. In Newark, New Jersey, I'm Elias Hermarte, Pix 11 News.